Assalamu alaikum and good morning to all my dear students. I welcome you all children to your new academic session of grade 5. We are going to learn the part 1 of unit 1 place value chapter from the maths textbook. So let us start learning children. In the part 1 of unit 1 place value, we are going to learn about Indian and international place value system. In the part 1 of this lesson, you will be learning Introduction to Place Value, Understanding Place Value, Place Value Chart, Understanding Indian and International Place Value Chart, Comparison of Indian and International Place Value System, Reading Numbers in Indian and International System, and Abacus of Number in Indian and International System. Children, first let us recall what we have learned in our previous grade. In our grade 4, we have learned about the 6-digit number that is a lakh number. So, we all know how we can write a 5-digit number and a 6-digit number. A 5-digit number will have a 5 digits in it. We all know the smallest 5-digit number is 10,000. The greatest 5-digit number is 99,999 and same way a 6-digit number will have 6 digits in it. The smallest 6-digit number is 1 lakh and the greatest 6-digit number is 9 lakh 99,999. In the same way, a 7-digit number will have 7 digits in it. The smallest 7-digit number is read as 10 lakhs and the greatest 7-digit number is 99,99,999. Now let us learn how we are going to read the 8-digit number. The 8 digit number have 8 digits in it. The smallest 8 digit number have a digit 1 followed by 7 zeros. And it is read as 1 crore. The largest 8 digit number have the digit 9 written 8 times. And we read it as 9 crore 99 lakh. 99,999. So the smallest 8 digit number is 1 crore and the largest 8 digit number is 9 crore 99 lakh 99,999. So children by now we are very much familiar of reading and writing the smallest and the largest numbers. An 8 digit number begins with 1 crore place in the place value chart. So this we will learn later. First let us learn how many digit numbers are there in our number system. Children we have infinite numbers in the number system. Infinite means we cannot count how many numbers are there in total. But at least we can know how many one digit numbers or two digit numbers, three digit numbers, four digit numbers, so on. How many are there in our number system? Now there are nine one digit numbers in the number system. If we start counting from the number one to number nine and if we count it on fingers, we find that there are nine one digit numbers. Now how many two digit numbers are there? If we count from the number 10, to the number 99, we get to know that there are 92 digit numbers. Next, how many 3 digit numbers are there? Again, we need to count from the smallest 3 digit number that is 100 to the largest 3 digit number that is 999. And if we count the numbers, we get there are 903 digit numbers. So here we can find a pattern. There are 9 1-digit numbers, 92-digit numbers, 
900 three digit numbers similarly we can say 9000 four digit numbers and so on so on means it goes on we can say we have nine 90000 five digit numbers 9 lakh six digit numbers and so on so we also can know this by a small method Here is a small method to find out the number of digits in the number system. One method is children, we can directly write it or know it by using the pattern which I have just explained. The other method is we have to solve and how is that we are going to do? We have to subtract the smallest digit number from the largest digit number and to the difference we have to add one. Let us see some examples. Example 1. Largest one digit number minus smallest one digit number plus 1. Now this brackets indicate that first we have to do subtraction. After subtracting what difference we get to that difference we have to add the number 1. So now we know largest one digit number is 9. Smallest one digit number is 1. We first subtract. 9 minus 1 gives us 8. To this 8, we have to add 1 then. We get 9. So, this is what we have seen previously. There are 9 one digit numbers. Example 2. We have to subtract the smallest two digit number from the largest two digit number and to this difference, we have to add 1. The largest two digit number we all know is 99. The smallest two digit number is 10. After subtracting 10 from 99, we get the difference as 89. To this 89, if we add 1, we get 90. That means there are 92 digit numbers. Similarly, children, we can find out that how many three digit numbers are there, four digit numbers are there, five, six and so on. Understanding place value. First, let us know what is place value. The place value is the value of a digit in a given number. Once again, I repeat children, the place value is the value of a digit in the given number. Place value tells us the value of the digit in a number based on its position. Example, the place value of the digit 5 in the given number 6,57,829 is 50,000. So children make a note here. We are not writing the place value of 5 as 5 and neither we are writing it as 10,000 since the place of the digit 5 will be 10,000. We are writing its value in the number that is 50,000. Now what is face value? Face value of a digit is the digit itself. From the above example, face value of 5 in the same number that is 6,57,829 is 5 only. So face value means is that digit itself. But place value will be the value of a digit in that number. One more example we'll see. Find the face value and the place value of the digit 6 in the number 6,45,128. So, firstly, the face value of 6 in the given number will be 6 only, means that is the digit itself. But whereas the place value will be the value of that digit. So here the place value of 6 in the given number is 6 lakh. So this 6 lakh we can write also by 6 multiplying by the value of that number. That is its place. That is 1 lakh. So if we multiply we get 6 lakh. Now we very well know the difference between the place value and the face value. Now we are going to learn, we are going to understand the place value chart. We already know about the place value 
chart as we have learned this in our previous grades but let us check some more on it because place value chart helps us in reading writing and understanding the numbers a place value chart help us to recognize large numbers we read place value chart from left to the right you can understand this children with your hand we read the place value chart from left to right that is when we are reading the number we start reading from the left to right the place value chart is separated into groups called periods we are going to learn about two types of place value chart but before we move on to the place value chart children first let us know that in a placed value chart the value of a digit is increasing by 10 times as it moves to the left in the place value chart increasing by 10 times means the value of a digit gets multiplied by 10 as it moves to the left in the place value chart similarly it is decreasing by 10 times as it moves to the right in the place value chart now decreasing by 10 times means the value is becoming 10 times lesser so that means we should divide divide by 10 when we are moving to the right so remember this important point children children you are going to learn two types of place value chart the first one is the place value chart for indian system in indian system we start grouping the number from right in group of 3 and further in group of 2 the place value chart is separated into groups called as periods that is we have ones period thousands period lakhs period and the crores period in the place value chart of indian system every period is separated by a comma in the number now let us understand this children by the example of a indian place value chart here the indian system of place value chart is given below children as i have informed earlier we are learning the place value chart and it is important because it helps us in reading and writing the large numbers very easily so let us understand the indian place value chart now as you can see children the place value chart for indian system is divided into four groups ones thousands lakhs and crores so these four groups are called as periods we have four periods in the place value chart for indian system ones period thousands period lakhs period and the crores period now again you can see these periods are divided into places these are called as places wherein the ones period is having three places that is ones place tens place and hundred place the thousands period is divided into two places thousands place and 10 thousands place the lakhs period is divided into two places lakh place and 10 lakh place again the crores period is divided into two places crore place and the 10 crore place so children here you can note this that only the ones period is divided into three places and rest all of the periods are divided into two two places now in the ones period the ones place tens place hundred place in short will be uh, mentioned as o t and h as as you already know this the thousands in the thousands period the thousands place will be mentioned as t h and the 10000s will be mentioned as capital t th 10000 the lakh place in short we write as l the 10 lakh place in short as tl the crore place as c and the 10 crore place in short as tc 
So children, here the thing to be remembered is that only the once period is divided into three places and rest all of the periods are divided into two places because it will help us in writing the numbers with commas. Now that we have learned the place value chart for Indian system, let us learn the place value chart for international system. Children, the international place value chart is followed in many foreign countries of the world. The place value chart that is used in many countries of the world is called the international place value chart. That means in the foreign countries, they do not use the crore, 10 crore or lakhs. But instead of those places, we have different places here in the international system. Let us learn that. In international system, we start grouping the number from right in groups of three. Now here this is to be noted that there is no groups of two. We are grouping in groups of three. The place value chart is separated into groups called periods. That is once period, thousands period and a new one you are learning that's a million period. Every period is separated by a comma in the number. So now let us learn this new system, the place value chart for international system. Place value chart for international system. Now this place value chart for international system is again divided into groups called as periods. And here you can see we have three periods. Once period, thousands period and millions period. Again, these three periods are divided into places. In once period, we have three places. Once place, tens place and a hundreds place. In thousands period, it is again divided into three places. That is thousands place, ten thousands place and a hundred thousands place. A new one children which you are learning here next in the million this is the new period you are learning in the million period again this is divided into three places million place 10 million place and a hundred million place so what is that we can note here we can observe here is that all the periods are having three three places so this is the point to be remembered here children because it will help us in writing the numbers with commas because numbers or the periods are separated by commas now this again the ones tens and hundreds are denoted in short as o t and h the thousand and ten thousand is the same it is denoted as t h and t t h ten thousand but whereas the new one which is you are learning is the hundred thousand it is denoted as capital H T H. Now after 100,000 we have a million place capital M. Next 10 million denoted in short as capital T M. And 100 million is denoted as capital H and M. Also note this children how the number of zeros are increasing and you can see in the place value chart whether it is Indian or international place value chart when we move to the left of the chart the value of a digit is increasing by 10 times now increasing by 10 times you can observe that in every place you can see one zero is getting added that is the value is multiplying by 10 now let us understand this Indian and international place value charts by some examples. Children, before we see the examples on Indian and international place value system, let us first know how we can read the numbers in Indian and international system. If we have an example of a number as 3, 2, 5, 8, 7, 6, 7, 9. So how to read this? So first we have two ways in reading. One is in the Indian system as, and the other is in the international system. And this we can differentiate by inserting the commas. Now we all know when a period ends, we have to put a comma in the number. After the, in the Indian system, you have learned the four periods. That is the ones period, thousands period, then comes the lakhs period and the crore period. So immediately after the ones period finish, we should put a comma. So now for this numbers, 
this numeral when we are writing it in figures with commas see it is written as 3 crore 25 lakh 87,679 that means first after the three digits finished after the one period is finished a comma is inserted after that we have the thousands period a thousands period have two places after the two digits two places means after the two digits a comma is inserted again immediately after the lakhs uh, after the thousands period we have the lakhs period in the lakhs period we have two places so two digits immediately after the two digits a comma is inserted and the last one so this can be helpful in reading the number that is 3 crore 25 lakh 87,679. Now again in the international system we have to first write the numeral in figures in figures with commas. So the commas can be insert, inserted depending on the periods. We all know in the international system we have three periods that is the ones period the thousands period and the millions period and every period is having three places so after the three numbers from the right is written a comma in will be inserted because the ones period finishes next in the thousands period we have three places so three digits here then immediately after the three digits are written a comma will be inserted and will go to the millions period in the millions period again we have three places but since here there are only two numbers so two numbers are written so now this we can read easily as 32 million five hundred eighty seven thousand six hundred seventy nine Let us learn the abacus of number in Indian system. Now, children, you all know what is an abacus. An abacus is a model with a collection of beads. And accordingly, we can arrange the beads and make a number. Now, here the beads are already being arranged on the abacus. And the places is mentioned below. 1, 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, lakh, 10 lakh, crore and 10 crore. We have to write the number formed in figures, in words and in expanded form. So first let us make out what is the number shown here. Here in the first stand of the abacus there are two balls or two beads. So the number 2 that is below the 1's place we have 2. Now in the next in the next stand there is only one ball so that is one should be written as the number below the tens place similarly or we have to write the numbers that are the number of balls that are shown on the abacus now let us write the this numeral in figures in figures with commas so how we have to write it with commas we all know as the period finishes we have to insert a comma now 1 10 and 100 comes in the ones period so immediately after the this three digits from the right we should put a comma next thousand 10,000. Now remember this is an abacus of Indian system and in Indian play, uh, uh, system or in the Indian place value chart only the ones period have three places rest all of the periods will have two two places. So after 1000 and 10,000 place after the two digits we can put a comma. Next again after the thousands period we have the lakhs period in lakhs period we have two places lakh place and 10 lakh place so immediately after the two digit we can put a comma and then we have the crores period which has the crore place and the 10 crore place so see this it's very helpful in putting the commas if we know how many periods are there and how many places in each periods are there so in figures this number can, is written as 10 crore 52 lakh 74,612 in words we have to write it as 10 crore 52 lakh 74,612
12. Now in expanded form, in expanded form we have to write the place value of each and every digit starting from the left. In the left the first digit is 1 and its place value in the given number is 10 crore. So a 10 crore will have 9 digits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 digits. 1 followed by 8 zeros. Next for the next number that is 0. For this 0 its value, its place value will be 0. Next for the digit 5, its place value in the given number will be 50 lakh. The place value of the next digit that is 2 in the given number is 2 lakh plus 70,000 with the place value of the digit 7. Next, 4,000 is the place value of the digit 4 plus 600 is the place value of the digit 6 in the given number plus 10 is the place value of 1 plus 2 which is the place value of 2. So, this is how children we are going to write the number, the numeral in figures, in words and in expanded form. Abacus of number in international system. Children, you can see the model of an abacus wherein the beads are arranged on the stands and here we have to find out what is the number being formed and we have to write that numeral in figures, in words and in expanded form. So first let us see what is the number being formed here depending on the number of beads shown on the stand and look at the places mentioned. The first one is the units place. U stands for units place or the ones place. Then we have the tens place and hundred place. Together they make a ones period. Next we have thousand, ten thousand and hundred thousand. Three together makes a thousands period. Next we have the millions place in the millions period. Now we will if there is one beat in the stand we have to write the number one below the units place. Next in the next stand we have five beats so the number five is written below the tens place and in the same way we have to write the digit seeing the number of beats in the stand. Now we will insert the commas. Now children we all know that a comma is inserted when the periods end. Now here we have three periods in the international system and all the three periods have three three places. So starting from the right after the three digits we will put a comma here. Next again that means the ones period has finished. Next after ones period we have the thousands period. The thousands period have three places. So immediately again after the three digits we will put a comma here and then we will stop because it is only one digit left. So now this number is 2,413,251 which is written here in figures. In figures the numeral is written with commas 2,413,251 and the same has to be written in words 2,413,251. 251 and in the expanded form we are going to write the place value of each digit in the given number in the international system. So now here the first digit that is starting from the left first is 2. Here 2 has a place value of 2 million in the given number. So see how the 2 million number is written just carefully look for the commas. Uh, how the commas are inserted 2 million next is 413 so this 413,000 so this will be the value of the 4 the place value of the dig digit 4 in the given number is 400,000 it is 400,000 plus next 10 you can look for the places which is mentioned on the abacus also. It will help you in writing the place value of that digit. Next, 3000 plus 200 plus 5 tens plus 1. So children, you have to be careful when you are writing the place value 
when it comes to the millions and the hundred thousands part so children by now i hope you all understood very nicely the indian and international system of numbers let's compare the two number systems we have learned that in the international place value chart after 10000 place we have 100000 so you can see the arrow marks in the table which are doing the comparison of both the charts indian and international you can see the lakhs place is similar to the 100000 so we can say 1 lakh is equals to 100000 or 100000 make 1 lakh similarly 10 lakhs is 1 million or 1 million is 10 lakh 1 crore is 10 million and 10 crore is 100 million 